Hey guys, it's me, Hermodice Chrome Kilata again, and I'm back with a new video on polyketh reproduction. So in my last video, which I highly recommend you watch as it contains a lot of information about polyketh worms, link in the description below, this wasn't mentioned as we were going pretty quickly. So here I am now to tell you about it. So polyketh reproduction is usually pretty straightforward. They usually have separate sexes, although Soroma are hermaphrodites, which means being of both sexes. Most species have a pair of gonads in each segment that contain gametes, which are released into the body cavity, and once mature, they're shed into the surrounding water from openings or ducts in certain species, or through the rupture of the skin, to fertilise and reproduce, creating a larva. We will get on to the development of a polychaete worm in one of my other videos. Very few species have sex, exchanging gametes. However, Differing from this typical form of reproduction, there is another way of reproduction, known as epitoche. Epitoche is a form of reproduction present in lots of species of polychaete worms. This is when a sexually immature worm, known as the atoke, with time turns into a sexually mature worm, known as the epitoke. Atokes live at the surface of the water, and so are benthic and can't sexually reproduce. Epitokes live in the water column, and so are pelagic, and they can reproduce as well as swim. Epitoche is beneficial because they increase the chances of these worms of finding the mates of the same species. Epitoche can occur in two methods, schizogamy and epigamy. Schizogamy is asexual reproduction in epitoche. This is when the atoke uses its posterior end to produce buds, which develop into an epitoke and break off from the worm becoming free, swimming polychaete worms. Many genetically identical epitokes are formed this way, and this gives the worm higher chances of finding their mates of the same species. This bud-forming atoke lives another season to form some more epitokes. Worms that use this reproduction technique include worms in the family, such as Silidae. Epigami is sexual reproduction in epitoche. This involves the physical changes in the body of the atoke. The male undergoes an increase in the size of the parapodia, paddle-like chitti developing for better swimming, wasting away of their body parts, known as atrophy, and their frontal part turning white due to their body cavities being filled with sperms, and their eyes may get bigger. The same may happen to the female, but their frontal parts may turn yellow due to eggs filling up their body cavities. The majority of epitokes that reproduce using epigamy die, because they won't be able to return to their epitoke form after reproduction. Male and female epitokes are produced, which swim to the bottom of the surface of the water, and take part in an activity called swarming, where males circle around a female, bringing individuals of the same species together. This happens during certain times of the year, depending on their moon cycles. So yeah guys, pretty hot. The worms that use this method of reproduction include in worms in the families, such as Nerididae. Epitokes look so different from atokes that epitokes were taught to be separate species themselves, which we now know, of course, isn't the case. So yeah guys, thank you for watching my video. Sorry about the delay in releasing this. I have ha I've been having lots of exams lately, which aren't going to decrease anytime soon. But for more videos in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again.